Alright, this is that one guy. I understand I got cut off when I was uh, demonstrating how to land, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm already in orbit. I'm uh, flying the Garami 5 Hope, and uh, this is the Garami 5 landing tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to speed up in our orbit. Our target is right in there, and I'm still fiddling around with uh, how to land on the runway, but if you land this way, you'll at least get on the continent, and landing is quite easy from there. So, uh, what we want to do <coughs> is there's this little Indian looking continent, uh, looks like India. So this line between India and that lower peninsula right there, that thing. That's where we want to do our burn, because that will, uh, shoot the, um, periapsis of the, uh, orbit out into the ocean between the Africa-looking continent and then the next continent east. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the old rocket, which, um, this is strictly just a landing tutorial. Uh, if you want to learn how to take off and, uh, other things about the Garami 5, I'm, uh, currently putting together a set of videos, I guess. Um, last time, uh, let me think. 5,000 put me a little bit short, so let's go ahead and try 10,000. See how much on the money we can get that, and that's pretty good. I'll let it be. So, what you're going to do, like I said before, roll up here. Go ahead and do this because it's more interesting to watch. Then you're going to roll upside down. So I'm not exactly sure how long this landing is going to take, uh, because I literally just ironed out all the bugs uh, with this system recently. So if you do this, when we get to 100,000, that's when our next point of interest is. So I will get back to you then. Okay, as you see, we're a little bit past 100,000 uh, meters, so what we're going to do is before we hit the atmosphere, we're going to line ourselves up with our uh, TTV which I explained this in the uh, previous uh, tutorial on how to fly this, but um, I understand people would have uh, doubts about this thing being able to land if I uh, didn't show it. So it's more or less at this point that you can go ahead and turn the RCS off, even if you have fuel now. You'll take a look. There's plenty of fuel here for orbital maneuvers. I've already burned to re-enter the atmosphere. So, um, yeah, it's a good craft. Now, um, we haven't quite hit the atmosphere yet, so we're still getting that roll from, uh, uh, just, you know, being in orbit, um, that naturally comes with that. Hold on one second until we get to Alright, we're inside the atmosphere now, the upper atmosphere. So what you want to do is keep this level. Like I was saying in my other video, this doesn't re-enter the atmosphere like the shuttle. Uh, it flies in. So, uh, as you see, underneath us is the continent right before the African one, and you can see that Africa-looking continent here and appearing up here on the horizon. Now you'll notice that the craft is becoming more responsive to the atmosphere as we get into it. So, here comes the long descent. Um, now, hopefully, as you see, I'm trying to shoot over that mountain range and hopefully put myself right on the runway. But I'm not holding my breath, really, because, uh... Well, I haven't had the best luck with this so far, and I'm still fiddling with this design. So I'm trying to, uh... Keep my horizontal speed up, which, um... That's the real key to this, uh, space shuttle. So, um... Yep. This is uh, less really for me and more for you guys because uh, I know how to um, land this thing. And in emergencies, uh, once you get low enough into the atmosphere, you can uh, fly it like a regular plane and uh, basically roll it around if you have to to uh, land pretty much wherever you need to. Um, it's a glider at this point which I got that inspiration from the shuttle design, so let's take a look at where our periapsis is. It's a little far out, so let's go... whoa, wrong way. 
So let's go ahead and bring this up to slow us down a bit. Yeah, looks like 10,000 is too much. Because, uh, as you see, I'm going to be passing over this mountain range, and uh, unless I can do something to seriously slow down, uh, we're going to um, completely miss the uh, Space Center. Which is unfortunate, but it happens. Um, although, maybe not. Okay, we're getting close. Um, what I really want is the uh, end of my... Um, okay, I'm just making slight course corrections here by rotating the uh, space plane. So I really want to uh, back this up a lot. So what I'm doing is I'm flaring which is equivalent in this game of air braking, and I'm trying not to go over the uh, medium point on this, where it will flip my spaceship back over on itself. So, uh, we're coming in pretty high. Um, and it's pretty close, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I see the runway. See, I'm not quite lined up on it, so I'm going to make a course correction. Um, yep, see, that's that, uh, that's that point I was telling you guys about. Uh, once you get over that, it uh, likes to... Um, flip up a lot, so what we're going to do is uh, do this to see if we can't line ourselves up with the runway. Okay, 10,000 meters is pretty close then. So as you see, once you get into the atmosphere, um, it handles like a regular uh, plane. Um, except it's uh, not under power at all. Uh, as you see, it is uh, just gliding along right now. So, um, if I can land at the Space Center, that would be dandy as I'll get out. Uh, okay, let's roll the ship a little bit. We're coming in pretty hot, but uh, I can live with that because um, the ship is, like I said, quite responsive to directional change. Um, so, uh, a little bit herky-jerky, but uh, yeah, I'm still not quite over it. So we're going to go ahead and let it glide down this way a bit. I'm going to pick up my... Uh, oh, whoa, whoa there, buddy. So... Now, as you see, I can actually pull up my uh, TTV by flaring a tiny bit. Um, so, hopefully, I will be able to um, make it to the runway. If not, we're just going to have a nice little landing in the grass right here. Which, that would be alright, too. But, uh... Really, it's all just kind of about the flaring, um, which uh, I didn't pay much credence to flaring until uh, I actually saved the lives of uh, one of the crews that uh, I had. Um, it was in a test run of the Garami 4.5 when I was still trying to figure out these mechanics, and uh, it... Um, didn't land so well. Let me just check where this is. Okay. I think it's kind of stupid that there's only run one runway on the whole dang planet, but, uh, you know, whatever it happens, I guess. So, um, yeah, we're going to come a little short of the runway. But uh, the way 
I see that we're gonna get at least near the space center. So I guess landing this thing uh, takes about like 10 minutes, so. So, whoop, 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 whoop. We're at a bearing of 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 90, good. Okay. Looks like we're pretty all right on line with the runway. Um, I'd like to slow my descent down just a little bit. Uh, I'd like to pick it up to about a 10 degree descent and hopefully that will uh, allow us to get onto the runway. But I think I'm gonna fall well short just because um, unless I fired up my rockets right now, but uh, Yep, 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 we're falling short, so I'm going to try and avoid the buildings by going this way. Because, uh, like I said, really this is just proof that I can land, not proof that I can land on a runway, because I'm still working on that. Uh, I came pretty close. But uh, if I make it that distance, I'm going to be a little bit ticked, so... I like to open it up around my gear. I like to put it down around 250. Gives me a little chance to uh, flare a bit. So I like coming down where I'm at a 5 degree angle and uh, my ship is at a uh, 10 degree uh, down angle. And so I'm at 48. So see, there you go. A little bit of a jerky landing. You hold B. And as far as I'm concerned, they're within walking distance of the space center, so that's uh, that's a win. So there's the uh, Grammy Five sitting on the ground, and that uh, was a 12-minute landing. All right.